Get ready! You're tuned in to Tea Time Unfiltered with your girl, Lovely T, bringing you the hottest trending topics on social media. Stay connected. Instagram.com slash Lovely Tea 2002. Hey, you guys. Welcome to another episode of Tea Time Unfiltered with your girl, Lovely T. Hey, you guys. Happy Thursday. I hope everybody's doing good today. So welcome to another episode of Tea Time Unfiltered. Now, if you guys do not know, Dr. Dre is currently trending number one all over Twitter, okay? Everybody's going crazy right now about Dr. Dre. So why are folks tripping? Folks are basically tripping because it has been announced that Dr. Dre's ex-wife, Nicole Young, just walked away with a cool $300,000 a month in temporary spousal support. And right now, social media is going crazy. A lot of folks are like, that's bullshit. This is why as a man, I'm never going to get married. These women walk away with so much money. Then you have some of these pick me females, honey, who are mad that Nicole's walking away with 300 grand. They're like, that's bullshit. She's never done anything. She just used them for his money. Why does she get 300 grand a month? If y'all chicks don't simmer the fuck down, okay, just simmer down. Let that lady live her best damn life. Why y'all crying tattoo tears for this man? First of all, in my personal opinion, Dr. Dre got off pretty damn easy. Because if y'all don't know anything about his divorce, Nicole was initially looking for $2 million a month, okay, in temporary spousal support. So for him to only have to pay three hundred k a month, I would say is a pretty nice discount, okay? First of all, Let's let's keep this real. Let, let's go back because a lot of people just see things trending on social media. They don't look into the context of things. They automatically get in their feelings and they try to run with it. First of all, let's take into account Dr. Dre's yearly income. His yearly income is $35 million a year. And that is without his business deals. That's just from his music catalog and, and things like that. On top of the business deals that he works out throughout the years, he gets money from that. Him paying 300 grand a month, which equates to $3 million a year to his baby's mother slash ex-wife, really is a drop in the bucket for him, seeing that he brings in $35 million a year, okay? So I don't feel bad for Dr. Dre, aka beatings by Dre, okay? So let me go ahead and read to you guys this report and what they're stating that Nicole is walking away with. So they're stating that Dr. Dre's ex-wife, Nicole Young, just scored a victory in court after he was ordered to pay almost $300,000 a month in spousal support. But the legendary rapper also sees it as a win. According to legal documents obtained by The Blast, the music mogul and his ex-wife were both in the court hearing this week, hashing out specifics of how much will be paid in temporary spousal support. In the order, Dr. Dre is ordered to pay $3 million per month to his ex-wife, which is due on the first of every month. Dre is ordered to pay Nicole the spousal support, which is payable on the first of the month, and it's going to start August 1st. The order states, if you do the math, that's a whopping $3 million a year in support, not including other expenses. The payments will continue, according to the order, until the party receiving the support remarries or enters into a new domestic partnership or the death of either party. Nicole is repped by powerhouse attorney, Samantha Spector. She's also getting her health insurance paid by Dr. Dre, which will be similar to the coverage that she had during their marriage. All other insurance for Nicole will be paid out of her pocket. On top of that, the judge also ordered Dr. Dre to continue paying the expenses of their Malibu and Pacific Palisades homes. Dr. Dre looked at this decision as a victory for the team after Nicole originally asked for $2 million a month in support. To those of you counting, that would have been $24 million a year, so three hundred dollars a month is definitely a bargain. The rapper's team believes this is only temporary as the couple has an ironclad prenup. It should be noted the rapper and his ex-wife are currently negotiating an overall settlement of their divorce and the amount of money to be paid by Dr. Dre is temporary. In other words, we are guessing that after the couple agrees on a lump sum payment to be paid to Nicole by Dr. Dre, the monthly payment may cease altogether. In many wealthy celebrity cases, a divorce settlement will include any future payments to an ex-spouse. As we reported, Dr. Dre and Nicole have been at war over their finances in the divorce after the rapper claimed that the couple entered into a prenuptial agreement that made his business separate property of course, those businesses, including Beats, headphones, 
which made him a billionaire, according to Nicole, has made $262 million available in cash and Apple stock and their living expense to be $2.3 million a month. So again, there's more to the story and people have to dig deep. You guys can read more on The Blast. So I just found it very funny that so many people are upset, particularly a lot of guys on social media. Again, you guys are involved in getting emotionally attached and upset to rich people's business that have nothing to do with you. Their divorce is above most of our pay grades, including myself, okay? So to me, this is a win for Dr. Dre. But what I find very interesting is the women who are like, oh, that's BS, she should get anything, there was a prenup, yada, yada, yada. Why are y'all going so hard for Dr. Dre? I'm sorry, but as a woman, I can't feel bad for Dr. Dre knowing that he damn near beat two black women to a pulp Y'all have more sympathy for him paying out this money and spousal support than y'all did for him beating up these women over the years, okay? I find social media very, very interesting. There's more of an uproar right now about him paying this money than when he attacked D. Barnes, Michelle Lane, and even the white girl, Tierra B. So let me take y'all down memory lane because it seems like a lot of people have forgotten Dre's background. And what's also funny is that we can also now add Nicole Young to the list of women that he's beat up. If you guys do not know, Nicole Young came out this year in January 2021 and basically also accused Dr. Dre of domestic violence. This is what Nicole said in her paperwork. According to the Daily Mail, new court documents state that Nicole Young has accused her estranged husband of holding a gun to her head, punching her in the face, and lifting her off the ground by her neck. Apparently, the documents were filed just days before Dr. Dre was admitted to the hospital for a brain aneurysm. Dre's real name is Andre Young. He has vehemently denied these claims, stating not one time did I abuse Nicole or threaten her physical safety. Nicole Young claims something totally different, calling Dr. Dre's words blatant lies. In her response, Nicole wrote, I have explained in excruciating, painful detail the abuse that Andre has perpetrated against me over our more than 25 year relationship. Some of those details include the time that Nicole accused Dr. Dre of holding a gun to her head on two occasions, on two occasions, once in January 8th, 2000, and again in November 20th, 2001. She also claimed that Dre punched her in the head and face in 1999 and again in 2000. She also recalled events where Dre's actions threatened her physical safety. Andre kicked down the door in their bedroom in which I was hiding from his rage in 2016. Andre has verbally and emotionally decimated my personhood to the extent that I currently suffer from post-traumatic stress syndrome. Dre has argued his innocence, claiming that the police had never been called to the couple's home for domestic for a domestic dispute during their marriage. Nicole agreed, but she shared that there's a caveat. The police were called in 1995 before they tied the knot. On this occasion, Nicole accused Dre of slamming her against the wall and lifting her off the ground by her neck. Nicole explained why she stopped calling the police once they were husband and wife. During our marriage, I considered calling the police several times, but as I fell deeper into the abusive relationship, my fear of Andre outweighed my confidence that I had in the police helping me. She said that Dr. Dre insinuated that she was lying about the abuse because she did not maintain documentation of each incident, which she considered revolting and insulting. It is well known and accepted that most victims of domestic violence do not have documentary evidence of their abuse. Dr. Dre's estranged wife is not the only woman to accuse him of domestic violence. So that is what she was telling everybody this year in January, okay? So not only had he abused Tierra B, Michelle A, D Barnes, but now also his wife. And him saying that, oh, because the police wasn't called, um, you know, it couldn't happen, she's lying. Well, that's a lie. So let me go ahead and take y'all down memory lane, okay? If you guys are not aware, there was a white female rapper that was signed back in the day to Ruthless Records. Now, I didn't know about this until I got much older. I don't remember her from back then. The group that I really, you know, knew Ruthless Records for was Bone Thugs and Harmony. That is my group. But before then, there was Tierra B, okay? Tierra B crawled so that way Iggy Azalea could run, <laughs> let's say like that. And she went hard, okay? She was a really good rapper. And so what happened is that basically Tierra B, whose real name is Teresa Beth, she was signed to Comptown Records, which was distributed by MCA. Power of a Woman was the only album ever released. 
So what happened is this. Basically, as we all know, NWA and Eazy E, they were beefing, they broke up. Eazy went with Jerry Heller, started his own record label. And then basically, Dre, um, Ice Cube had also left. Then Dre, Yella, um, they were kind of left to themselves to kind of figure out what to do. So she kind of got herself involved in the beef. So what happened is that on the last song of the Power of a Woman album, there was supposed to be a song called I Ain't Your Bitch. And basically Ice Cube was going to write the lyrics. It was supposed to be something along the lines of It's a Man's World from the America's Most Wanted album. But in this case, it would be where members of NWA would take turns calling Tierra a bitch and then go off on them in the very last verse. For some reason, she didn't like this idea, so instead she decided to record a song called Ruthless Bitch, dissing NWA and even other ruthless artists like JJ Fad. She said that Dr. Dre looked like a faggot when he was in the world-class wrecking crew and accused him of lifting a lot of samples on Straight Outta Compton from the ultimate breaks and beats, both of which were true. Um, if you guys don't know, in recent years, it's come out that, that so many producers and beat makers have accused Dr. Dre of stealing their work and not giving them credit. So a lot of people have been giving Dr. Dre the side eye as of late because a lot of these classic albums that he supposedly produced, we're now finding out that he took from other people. So anyways, back to 1990. So... Tierra releases the song. The song gets some play. It's, you know, causing a buzz in the streets. Boy, what up? If your name ain't on it, then my record won't hit. If you don't produce it, it ain't legit. Yo, what's up? Baby, let's go. Hey, tea sippers To listen to the rest of this podcast, please go to Apple Podcasts, Spotify, Google Play, Stitcher, Tuned In, or AnchorFM.com, which is a free podcasting site. Thank you guys so much for the support, and stay tuned for the next video.